Have you ever wondered about the power that lies in a single drop of blood that changed the course of history forever? Today, we're diving deep into one of the most profound and sacred elements of the Christian faith, the blood of Jesus. This isn't just about the miraculous events narrated in ancient texts or the subject of hymns sung in reverence every Sunday. The blood of Jesus carries with it a significance that transcends time, promising redemption, healing and transformation for all of humanity. Our journey today is not just a retelling of known stories. It's an exploration into the lesser known dimensions of the blood of Jesus and its unparalleled power to transform lives. From ancient scriptures to modern day testimonies, the blood of Jesus has been a beacon of hope and a source of divine power. But what makes it so powerful? Why does it hold such a pivotal place in Christian faith? And how can it impact your life today? Today, we will uncover these truths, delving into the mysteries, the miracles, and the profound impact of the blood of Jesus on individuals and the world. This is more than a story. It's an invitation to discover the transformative power of divine love and redemption. Welcome to our journey into the heart of faith. In biblical times, blood held a significance that is both profound and multifaceted. It was more than a symbol. It was the very essence of life and purity, central to rituals, sacrifices and covenants that defined one's relationship with the divine. From the earliest days, the shedding of blood was a requisite for atonement, a physical manifestation of remorse and desire for reconciliation with God. Sacrifices, whether of doves, lambs or bulls, were common practice, each offering carrying its own meaning and weight. These acts were not merely ritualistic, but were imbued with deep spiritual significance, representing purification, dedication and, most importantly, the substitutionary atonement for one's sins. Among these ancient practices, the Passover stands out as a pivotal event that foreshadowed the ultimate sacrifice. The Passover lamb, chosen and slain, its blood painted on the doorposts of Hebrew homes, became a symbol of salvation and divine protection. This was not just a lamb, it was a declaration of faith, a sign that the angel of death would pass over those homes, sparing them from the plague that struck down the firstborn of Egypt. This powerful imagery laid the groundwork for understanding the sacrificial system's purpose and the coming of a greater sacrifice that would fulfill and eclipse all that had come before. Transitioning to the New Testament, the narrative reaches its crescendo with the Last Supper and the crucifixion of Jesus. Here, the symbolic and prophetic significance of blood is brought to fulfillment. During the Last Supper, Jesus takes the cup, declaring it to be his blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. This moment is revolutionary, signifying not just a new covenant, but the establishment of a new relationship between humanity and the divine, grounded in forgiveness and grace. The crucifixion then becomes the ultimate sacrifice, the blood of Jesus fulfilling the Old Testament prophecies and transcending the ancient rituals of atonement. His blood shed on the cross marks the culmination of God's redemptive plan, offering salvation to all of humanity. Through this act, Jesus becomes the Passover lamb for all, his sacrifice achieving what the blood of bulls and goats could never accomplish, the complete and final redemption of mankind. The theological implications of Jesus' sacrifice delve into the very heart of Christian faith, encapsulating themes of redemption, forgiveness, and the inauguration of a new covenant between God and humanity. This act of ultimate sacrifice not only fulfilled ancient prophecies, but also introduced a radical paradigm shift in the understanding of divine human relations. The blood of Jesus shed on the cross became the linchpin for a comprehensive redemption narrative that transcends time, culture and sin. Redemption in this context is not merely a transaction or a momentary act of saving grace. 
It is an ongoing process of being brought back from bondage, a liberation of humanity from the shackles of sin and death. Through his blood, Jesus has paid the price once and for all, offering everyone a path back to the Father. This is poignantly captured in Hebrews 9.14, where it is stated, how much more then will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death so that we may serve the living God. This verse underscores the purifying power of Jesus' blood, offering not just external adherence to rituals, but an internal transformation leading to a life in service to God. Furthermore, the forgiveness of sins is another cornerstone of the theological implications of Jesus' sacrifice. Ephesians 1.7 articulates this beautifully. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. This passage highlights that forgiveness is not just an act of divine mercy, but is rooted in the richness of God's grace, made manifest through the blood of Jesus. It's a declaration that the debts are paid, not by our own merit, but by the sacrificial love of Christ. Finally, the establishment of a new covenant is perhaps the most revolutionary aspect of Jesus' sacrifice. Unlike the covenants of old, which were based on adherence to laws and rituals, this new covenant is written on the hearts of believers, signifying a personal and transformative relationship with God. Through the blood of Jesus, believers are invited into a covenant that is eternal, based not on their own ability to uphold the law, but on the grace and mercy of God. This covenant is a testament to the power of Jesus' blood to not only redeem and forgive, but to also create a new community of believers bound together by love and grace. The blood of Jesus thus stands as a testament to the depth of God's love, a love that is willing to enter into the depths of human suffering and sin to bring about redemption, forgiveness, and a new way of being in relationship with the divine. It is a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of divine love, offering hope and a new beginning to all who come under its redemptive embrace. The secret strength of the blood of Jesus is a concept that transcends traditional understandings of power. In the realm of spiritual warfare, protection and healing, the blood serves as a divine shield, a source of strength that operates beyond the physical, touching the very essence of our spiritual lives. This is not power as the world knows it, dominance through force or fear, but a profound strength that comes from surrender, faith, and the assurance of God's presence in the midst of life's battles. In spiritual warfare, believers find in the blood of Jesus a sanctuary, a rallying cry that evil cannot withstand. Scripture is replete with instances where faith in God's power overcomes seemingly insurmountable challenges. Take, for example, the walls of Jericho falling at the sound of trumpets and shouts of faith in Joshua 6. While not directly about the blood of Jesus, this story parallels the victory believers can claim in spiritual battles through faith in the power of Jesus' sacrifice. Protection is another facet of this secret strength. The blood of Jesus is often invoked as a spiritual covering over one's life, family and possessions. This concept echoes the Passover, where the blood of the Lamb protected the Israelites from destruction. Modern-day believers recount numerous instances where invoking the blood of Jesus in prayer has brought them through dangerous situations unharmed, from miraculous escapes, from accidents to protection during natural disasters, attributing their safety to the protective power of faith. Healing, both physical and emotional, is perhaps the most tangible testament to the blood's power. Throughout the Gospels, we see Jesus healing the sick, the blind and the brokenhearted, a testament to the kingdom of God's breaking into the world with power. These miracles continue today with countless testimonies of healing that defy medical explanation attributed to faith in Jesus' name and the power of his blood.
Individuals recount experiences of miraculous recoveries from terminal illnesses, healings from chronic pain, and emotional restorations from deep traumas, viewing these as modern-day miracles wrought by the same power that flowed from Calvary. A particularly moving testimony comes from the story of a modern-day believer who, after years of battling a debilitating illness that left doctors baffled, found complete healing through prayer and faith in the healing power of Jesus' blood. This person's story, shared in churches and online platforms, has become a beacon of hope for many facing their own impossible situations, illustrating that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is at work today, bringing life, healing and restoration. These stories, both ancient and modern, serve as vivid reminders of the secret strength available to those who believe. The blood of Jesus, symbolizing his ultimate sacrifice, carries with it the power to save, heal and deliver. A power that is as relevant and accessible today as it was 2,000 years ago. It's a strength that comes not from human might but from the divine, offering a profound source of hope, protection and victory for believers worldwide. We, as believers, embark on their personal faith journey. Understanding and applying the significance of Jesus' blood is essential for a profound relationship with God. This understanding goes beyond mere acknowledgement. It involves a deep, transformative integration into every aspect of one's life. Here are practical ways believers can cultivate this understanding and live out their faith in a manner that honors the sacrifice of Jesus. Prayer. Prayer is the lifeline of a believer's relationship with God. Incorporating the significance of Jesus' blood into prayer life can deepen one's connection to the divine. Believers are encouraged to pray with a consciousness of the blood's power for protection, healing and spiritual warfare. A prayer might begin with thanksgiving for the sacrifice of Jesus, followed by petitions for the application of its power in personal life, family, community and the world. Invoking the blood of Jesus in prayer can be a powerful declaration of faith in its saving and protective power. Meditation on Scripture. The Bible is replete with references to the blood of Jesus and its significance. Regular meditation on these scriptures can build faith and understanding. Passages such as Hebrews 9.14, Ephesians 1.7 and 1 Peter 1.18.19 are foundational texts that can be reflected upon during quiet time. Meditation involves more than reading. It's about letting these truths saturate the heart and mind, allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal deeper revelations of the blood's power, living out the faith, understanding the power of Jesus' blood calls for a response that goes beyond personal spiritual disciplines to living out the faith in tangible ways. This means being a living testimony to the power of Jesus' sacrifice. Believers are called to love others, forgive as they have been forgiven, and serve their communities in humility and grace. Acts of kindness, charity and advocacy for justice can be profound expressions of the transformative power of Jesus' blood. Living out the faith in this way not only honours Jesus' sacrifice but also becomes a means through which others can encounter his love and salvation. Community and Fellowship Sharing in the body of Christ means that believers do not walk their faith journey alone. Being part of a community that recognizes and celebrates the power of Jesus' blood can be incredibly affirming and strengthening. Through fellowship, believers can encourage one another, share testimonies of the blood's power in their lives and support each other in prayer and service. This collective witnessing can amplify the impact of the gospel, making the love and power of Jesus known to the wider world. In applying these practices, believers embark on a transformative journey, deeply rooted in the power of Jesus' sacrifice. This journey is marked by a growing understanding of the depth of God's love, a profound experience of His presence, and an unwavering commitment to live out the faith in ways that bring glory to God and light to the world. Through prayer, meditation on scripture, tangible expressions of faith and community fellowship. 
Believers can continue to draw strength from the secret strength of Jesus' blood, navigating life's challenges with faith and conviction. I encourage you today to deepen your faith and personal relationship with Jesus by reflecting on the transformative power of his blood. Let this understanding inspire you to prayer, draw you into deeper study of God's word, and motivate you to embody the principles of love, forgiveness, and service in your daily life. Remember, the blood of Jesus offers us hope and redemption, a promise of a new life grounded in divine love. Let this message fill your heart with hope and guide you as you walk in the light of his love and sacrifice. With that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, may you experience the profound peace and joy that comes from knowing and living in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ.